Hey everyone, my name is Riley and in this video I'm going to show you step by step how you can build a landing page on Aweber. If you do not yet have an Aweber account, you can sign up to Aweber for free using the top link in the description. Now, once you have signed up for your Aweber account or you have logged into the account you already have, to create a landing page, all we are going to do is come over to this tab on the left hand side and click right here into pages and forms. Now, this is the landing page area. And if you have never created a landing page before, then there will of course be nothing in here yet. So all we need to do to create a new landing page is go up to create a landing page in this top right corner. And in here, these are all of the templates that we can get access to on Aweber. So as you can see, we have different styles and types of landing pages. Like we have a subscription service. We have a payment plan landing page, recurring payment plans, personal coaching. So in here, you really want to go down and find the exact type of landing page that is going to fit you the best. In this example, I'm going to be selling an ebook. So I'm going to choose the ebook offer landing page. Once you have found the landing page that you would like to use, we can click on this choose button and this is now going to open up the Aweber editor. Now, the awesome thing about this is the Aweber editor is something that we call a drag and drop editor. This is the standard editor that you are going to get with most page builders out there simply because it works so well. So to change anything on this website, essentially all we have to do is click in and we can now change this. So if I want to change the title of my ebook right here, or add a heading, I should say, I can just go in and start typing, get the top marketing secrets with my free ebook. Then down here, I'm going to set the price to, let's go $0.00. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to add another price here and then strike through this. So at the top, we have all of these different options where if we highlight the text that we have just added, we can change the size of this, we can change the font that we are going to use, we can change the font size, we can change the color of the font, we can bold, italicize, strike through, all of these other options. So I'm going to add 9.99 to this, and then I'm going to go, highlight this, and strike through. And then maybe we even want to go to change the color and make this a red color. Then down here, we can once again click in and just add some more information about this. So that is pretty easy, right? Just adding the text in, changing it around at the top, very simple. To change any images on your website, all we need to do to change these is click into the image. And then on this panel on the right hand side, this is where we can upload new images. So I'm going to upload an image right here. And then I'm going to go to my downloads and look for my ebook. And then we can upload this in. So I just double click. And as you can see, this image is now going to be replaced. And I have the image of my ebook. We have another image up here, which is going to be the logo for the website. So once again, all we are going to do is click in. And then on this right hand side, we can upload an image. And then I'm going to go in here and upload my logo. Right now, this is way too big. So to make this smaller, we can go over to sizing on this right hand side. And then we are going to turn auto width off. And now we can choose to resize this. So you might want to play around with some of these other image settings like the design, the spacing. I don't think they are too important, but you could if you like. So let's make this about this size. Now for this button, this is an e-commerce button. So we see here we have e-commerce. If we drag this in, this is going to be a buy button. So if you want to sell something through your landing page, we just drag in this e-commerce button. And then if I just delete this one right here and go to the top one, we can essentially edit this all over here. I actually don't want to be selling a product. So you can, and if you would like to sell something straight here, then we just go to product and you can connect up Stripe right here, which is a payment processor. You essentially just have to go through and it's going to give us step-by-step -step instructions when this actually decides to load up just like this. We connect the integration right here 
And then on Stripe, we go through and create a Stripe account. And this will allow you to collect Visa, MasterCard, Amex, most of the main credit card providers. So we have that connected up. We can then go to the order form and we can edit this. We can change the button once again and the branding. And then we can go over here and edit the receipt. So when somebody purchases. However, I do not want to charge for this. So I'm going to delete this. So I'm going to go up and drag the form instead. And as you can see, this is now collecting somebody's name and email. We can also go in and in here, we can like remove certain elements that it's asking for. We can add a new form field in. So to create a new one, we would go custom field. And then in here, we can add a custom field and we can ask for somebody's address and then click on add. And just like that, we are asking for the address. So if we now go back to that landing page, we can click in and add like the address right here. And it's now going to ask for the address, but I'm going to remove this. So that is the design section. We can then go over to submission. I don't recommend changing any of this, but you can, if you like, like you can create your own thank you page, all of this down here. We then have different sections. Now I do not want to use any of these, so I'm just going to delete them right here. However, if there is anything else that you would like to add to your site, as you can see, I'm just going to delete all of this. What you can do to add more customization is we can add new sections. So down here, we have a row, we can add a new one in. And then in here, we can basically drag and drop these elements around and we can add whatever extra we want to add to the site. But I want to leave this as simple as possible. And the last thing that I'm going to do is change the colors and the background. So I am happy with this white background, but if I would like to change this, then I can just go up, click into this section and change this background, click into this section and change this background. And then for the main page, we can just back out and go to the background and then we can change the color right here. But I want to set this back to how this was before. I quite like the white. The only thing that I'm going to do is change this section right here to kind of the same green color. So we can just click into this and then change the background color to more of a green color like this. I would need to find the exact color. And just like that, I now have all of this created. So to actually save my landing page, we just go down to save and exit. And just like that, this landing page is now created. We do need to add a title, which I forgot about. So we can just click back in and then up in this top left corner, we can add a landing page title. So I'll just call this uh, ebook landing page. And then once again, we can save and exit. And then all we have to do to put this landing page live right now, it's unpublished, but we can go over publish page. And now this page is going to be live. So I can take my link right here from the top, paste this into a new tab. And just like that, this is my landing page that is now live on the internet. So that is how you can create a landing page with Aweber. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.